Hi everybody, today we're going to be looking at the game Genotype. Now the object of this game is you're going to be trying to score the most amount of points by planting and harvesting pea plants. Uh, now this is a game from Genius Games and they make a lot of really good games based on science and math and biology. And this is another good one, so let's check it out. The object of this game is you're going to be trying to be the player that gets the most amount of points by planting and then harvesting what are called these pea plant cards over here. Um, there's a point value over here and then it has these different traits here. This particular plant has four traits. And the way you're mainly going to be fulfilling these traits is by using these dice over here uh, later on uh, in the round. And you're going to be uh, trying to simply uh, cover up all these little traits with this little leaf over here and fulfill them. And once you have filled all of the traits up with these leaves, you'll be able to go ahead and turn the card in and get that amount of points. So that's the main object of the game is to score uh, all the points. We've got a lot of different uh, objects in this game and I'll go ahead and talk to you about them. This is a worker placement game so what you're going to be doing is you've got a certain amount of these little shovels here that you're going to be placing here on different parts of the board and depending on where you place it on the board you're going to be able to perform an action. Uh, you'll start off with three but throughout the game you might be able to get more if you would like. Right here, these are your research goal markers, and uh, there's places here on the board where you can set these, and uh, at the end of the game, you'll be able to get more points depending on the type of plants that you have. And everybody is going to be receiving one of these player boards over here, and this one has a section for gardening, uh, temporary dice slots, where you're going to be planting your pea plant cards and harvesting them, and then a place where you're going to be putting the, uh, the dice, which is going to help you to uh, meet the requirements and harvest these plants. These are the coins, and these are really nice. Uh, this comes from the uh, updated, the upgraded version, uh, but they're really nice coins. And over here, we have a whole bunch of these different dice. Now, you're going to be using these dice uh, in order to collect the traits that you're later going to be uh, putting here on your pea plants in order to try to harvest them. So there are three different phases in the game. There's going to be the working phase, which you're going to place your action markers. Um, that'll help prepare your gardens here on the board or on your player mats. You also have the plant breeding phase, and you're going to be doing this after you've validated all of the traits on here with these little green leaves. Once you do that, you'll be able to go ahead and uh, harvest the plant and get the points for that. And then on the next one is going to be the research upgrade phase. So this is where you're going to be able to use your coins to purchase these types of things or these types of things uh, to be able to help you throughout the game. Now, in the very beginning, you're going to pick one of the pea plant cards that you have in your hand. You're going to go ahead and sew it on uh, one of your garden plots. And let's just say player one does that and player two does that. Whoever has the first player marker is going to go ahead and uh, start by placing their shovels here on these different spaces that are going to basically be followed by an action. So if you decide to take the gardening action, what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and draw one of these pea plant cards or one of these tool shed cards. And you can draw from here or from the decks. Any pea plant cards that you have here on your player mat, if you've already met the requirements with the traits, you'll be able to go ahead and harvest the card and then get the points for it. And also you'll be able to go ahead and sow any more pea plant cards that you have in your hand. So you could do something like that and then something like that. If you place a marker here on the temporary dice slot, this is going to give you an extra dice slot that you'll be able to use for these dice over here to try to help harvest some more of these plants. If you place an action marker here on the tool shed, this is going to allow you to draw one card here from the tool shed and, or from the deck and you'll be able to play it into your hand. And these cards you're mainly going to be playing in the working phase, but they're not going to count as an action. They're like a bonus play. And here are the tool cards. The tool cards work similar to the assistants. The only difference is that these are only going to last one round and once that round is over, you're going to go ahead and discard it. But here's one that says seed bag, draw five plea plant cards from the deck, keep two and discard the rest. The flower pot. Um, take a pea plant card and place it on the flower pot. It's treated as a plot in your garden until the plant is harvested and then the, the pot is discarded. So once uh, you end up using these things, they're going to be gone. But anyway, again, here is a list of what they are. If you place a marker over here, this is going to allow you to ch change up uh, the traits. Uh, for example, this is a TT. You will be able to go ahead and place it on over here. Um, this is going to help increase your chances of being able to get certain traits and also it might mess your opponents up as well. But you got a couple of different ones here. You got one that's horizontal and one that's vertical. And then you also have some on the other side as well. If you place your marker over here, this is going to give you first choice of any of the dice that are rolled um, from that particular section. If you decide to choose a second shift, then there's several different slots over here. Um, whenever it becomes your turn and you'll go in order, You'll be able to choose any one of the dice here from the different traits.
If you place a mark over here in the treasury, this is going to allow you to draw two coins. Placing one over here, this is going to allow you to go ahead and uh, take a free one of these traits here and go ahead and place it on one of your pea plant cards like so, and it won't cost you anything, it'd be like that. If you place one over here in the nursery, this is going to allow you to draw two cards, either from over here or from the deck. If you place one over here to the set research goal, what you'll do is you'll pay two coins, and you'll place one of these research markers here on one of these uh, little spots here that has a point value on it. And what you do is, let's just say I decided to pick one here that would said round. Uh, if I, any round plants that I end up having it by the time the game ends, I will be able to get a bonus two points for it in this case. And you'll be able to see what type they are just by looking at the card over here. This will tell you. Now on top of that, you'll be able to use coins to go ahead and purchase different things here for the research upgrades. Um, these little abacus markers over here are going to tell you how many coins they're worth and they're going to move up and down throughout the game. Uh, if you decide to buy a new plot, Right now it's two coins. You'll just simply grab one of these over here and this is gonna give you an extra place where you'll be able to uh, harvest plants. If you decide to go for an extra die slot, you'll go ahead and pick one of these up and place it next to you. And uh, this one's going to last throughout the entire game. So you'll always have this. If you decide to go and get an action marker, you're gonna go, this is going to allow you to pick up an extra one of these. So right now we have three. Uh, if you decide to purchase an action marker, this is going to give you four. And then finally, we have higher assistant, and these assistants have different abilities, and you're going to be able to hold on to them throughout the game. And here are the different assistants along with their abilities, and I'll just share a couple of them. Sister Anna says once per working phase, you may pay one coin to validate a trait, so that's a good one. Uh, here's Sister Maria, once per plant breeding phase, when taking a die, you may validate any trait of that die color instead of using the die normally. And so these are all of the different abilities that they have, and so I can just let you read through those. Just so, let's go ahead and start. Let's say I'm the first player and I decide, okay, I'm going to go ahead and do some gardening. And the second player goes, okay, I'm going to go ahead and place um, one over here. Uh, first player goes back to, let's just say he decides he's going to go over here to the treasury. Second player goes and he says okay i'm going to go ahead and get something from the tool shed uh first player goes again let's just say he decides he's going to put one here and then let's just say the uh second player goes ahead and he places something like that over there okay so we'll go ahead and get started with me since i went ahead and decided to do gardening i'm going to go ahead and draw a tool card for now and uh i can go ahead and harvest any pea plant cards that I have. I have not been able to harvest one yet, but I will be allowed to go ahead and sow another card. So I'll go ahead and place that over there. And that will finish that part. Um, the purple over here, he's got uh, choices. Let's just say he decides he's going to go ahead and get the flower pot. He'll put that there. And this is going to go ahead and allow him to uh, take a card from the nursery. And he'll, let's just say he picks this one up and he goes ahead and places that there. Now we've got these dice over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to roll all the dice and then we're going to go ahead and place them in the appropriate slot. So one goes here, four goes here. You just simply follow this chart. Here's a one, here's a two. Now, if you end up getting a rake, that's going to go in this section. And you'll go ahead and place those there. And you're going to roll them again in just a little bit. And we end up having something like this. So I'll go ahead and roll these again. And uh, we have yet another rake. And I'll explain what uh, happens with that here in just a second. So now the deal with the de novo mutations is what these are called. Um, if you decide to pick up this die right now, you'll get a coin and um, you'll be able to place this in like one of the die slots like so. Now what this is going to allow you to do, this is going to allow you to validate any one of the traits here that you have. So it's like a wild card. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and look and let's just say since I have the first shift over here, I'm going to go ahead and pick uh, this one over here, the little TT. And uh, my opponent goes and he'll look at his. And let's just say he decides he's going to uh, pick up this one. He'll put this over here. Now that uh, we got the second shift, this is purple again, he's going to be able to pick any one of these dice over here. So let's just say he decides he's going to go ahead and pick up this one right here. And so now we're going to go ahead and validate. So since I'm looking here, I have a four, which is going to be this one. I'll be able to validate these two small T's over here. My opponent's going to look, and he's got the red three. So that's a big F, small F, so we'll be able to do that. And then he'll also be able to validate this as well. So now we go over here to the treasury. I'll pick this up, and this is going to give me two coins, like so. And now, since I have the two coins, I'm going to be able to buy something 
um, for the next phase. Let's just say I decide I'm going to go ahead and hire an assistant. I decide I'm going to just go ahead and pick this assistant. So now I'm going to have this ability for the rest of the game. She is the one that says when taking a die, you may validate any trait of that die color instead of using the die normally. So I'll have that throughout the rest of the game. So then you'll go ahead and clear out all the markers and you'll go ahead and discard all these cards and then refill it with uh, the same amount of cards. Clear out the dice and then you'll go ahead and do the next round and you'll basically do the same thing. So you're going to do this for five rounds. And at the end of the fifth round, you'll be able to go ahead and harvest any cards that you have. You'll go ahead and count up what points you've got. The uh, point value on the cards, you're, you're going to get those. You'll also get points for the research goals over here that you've placed down. Any trait marker that you have on incomplete pea plants, something like that, that's going to be worth one point. And any coin that you have that you have not spent is also going to be worth a point. So we'll total all those up, and whoever has the most amount of points is going to win the game. And that, folks, is Genotype. So my final thoughts on Genotype holy cow you talk about a game that gives you like a ton of options as a worker placement game and that it also has um, dice drafting man this game gives you a lot of options um between how many plants you want to get if you want to get cards are going to help you temporarily or if you want to buy things are going to help you permanently and the research assistance and the tool cards and oh my gosh there's so much going on in this game uh worker placement games are pretty popular right now and this game is solid uh the components are really really solid the, the coins that i have i love the coins oh my gosh they're great um solid components um just a great game overall i think um so if you were in a worker placement games i would definitely check this one out i mean the theme is about pea plants but i think that's really cool because they have a uh, book here it is uh, that they put along with it the science behind genotype and it talks about uh the mendelian genetics and pea plants and things like that so it gives you the science behind the game as well so this is another one of those games from genius games that you're going to be learning things as well while you're playing a really really solid game so yeah i would definitely give this game a thumbs up so guys that's my review of genotype catch you later keep on gaming